Hello and welcome to Starting Out Easy. This is the guide for beginning instructions in your Madai Online Experience course. This guide assumes that you already know how to get onto Blackboard and how to basically navigate Blackboard. If you need, do need help with that, uh, there's a link that's going to appear here underneath. I suggest that you click on that one first. So let's begin. Starting off here is a Mo instructor. On the Wednesday before your course starts, the course designers will go through and assign the template to your course. What does this mean? Well, if you are in Blackboard, you'll see a course in this case that looks just like this one here. If it's a cross-listed course, you may see a couple courses that are listed. In this case, here we're going to assume that it's not. But I've got my Mo Dummy course here. Your course will probably look like something like this with the CRN, which is your course identifier, the term, and the course name. But for our demo purposes, I'm going to go into our dummy course. When the template's been applied, the course will look like this. If the template has not been applied yet, you'll see a screen that says no items have been added to this course. If you do run into this issue, we recommend that you email Academic Services, A-C-S-E-R, at madai.edu. This will let them know that the information needs to be applied to your course. And remember, this happens the Wednesday before the course starts. If you do not see the course listed, please also contact us as well if it's not in your Blackboard course list. The next date that you need to know is Saturday before the course starts. This is the deadline that we have instated for you to contact your students. You can do this as early as Wednesday or when your template has been applied, but we, or as late as Saturday, the day before the course starts. You can do this as early as Wednesday, or you could do this as late as Saturday. But you should do it before Saturday so that the students know that you are their instructor for the course. It should read something like this. You are currently registered for course name and I will be your instructor. The course will open next Wednesday and will be not available for you until that time. You may want to attach your introduction Larry letter or any other information that you feel may, feel may be pertinent to the students. To do this, you go through in Blackboard. You go through on the options here for course tools. You click on the option to send mail and choose the option for all student users. You should see two in the from. Just type in the subject. Type in your message. And if you wish to attach an attachment you can do so by clicking on the option here to attach a file. Browse your machine and attach the file onto it. When you're done, click on Submit. And this will send out a message to your students. Your next step is before the day the course starts. Enter in the course dates. What these course dates are are dates for assignments, discussion boards, tests, and other items within your class. To change these, I'm just going to go in here to start here, just like the students would, go into week one. And I will find the assignments that are in here for the instructor. For example, assignment 1.1. Mouse over it, click on edit. Go through the area that says due dates. Check the box for due dates and enter in the due date, which in almost all cases will be Tuesday at the end of the day, which is 11.59 p.m. If it's an individual assignment, make sure you keep it as that and click on Submit. And this puts in a course due date for you and the students. You can go into the discussion boards to set those as well. Go into discussion boards, click on the down arrow next to the DQ, Go to Edit, and put in the date and time that the discussion board is due. After which, scroll down and click on the Submit button to change those dates. If there's a test, scroll down to where the test is. You can tell because it's got a red X and a checkbox to let you know that that's a test. Click on the Options arrow. Go to Edit the Test Options. This is where you would make the test available for your students if it's not available. And you would set the due date for the tests by 
clicking on the little checkbox and setting the due date and the due time and the range that the students can take it. To have a start date for the test, click on the checkbox next to it. Click on the calendar option, set when students can start to access it. Click the checkbox, select the calendar, and select when students can no longer access it. You also have to set the time as well. For most classes, this will be Saturday at the start of the day. and we'll finish on Monday at the end of the day. Do not change any other options. When you're done, click on Submit, and your test dates are now set. Day that the course starts, check that course is open. This should happen automatically. You, all you have to do is check that it has. Easiest way to check your look to make sure your class is open. In Blackboard, if you don't see a date up here, that means that your class is open to students. To change this option or to double check to make sure that your course is available, go down to Customization. If your course is unavailable to students, you'll see a date make here sure at the that top of the screen. Available to the users. And make sure that your select dates are before today's date and after today's end date. These should be set automatically. If you do want to change these, just click on the calendar. And for example, today is August 26th. If I wanted this to be available now, I can change this to August 26th. When I click on Submit, you notice that message goes away and the course is available to students. Friday after the course starts, assign teams. We suggest that you wait until Friday just in case students have added or dropped to the course. To set teams, we want to go to Users and Groups, click on the Groups option, and you'll see that your learning teams are already created for you. All you need to do is to populate these groups. To do so, click on the down arrow next to Learning Team 1, go to Edit, and select the students that you wish to put into it. For example, I have a test student I want to add into this group. I can click on their name, select them into that group. When I'm done, I click on Submit, and the student's been added to the group. You will need to do this for each subsequent group and student until all your students are in a learning team. Once you've done all these tasks, so you have gone through and completed everything that you need as far as housekeeping for Blackboard, we wish you guys luck with teaching your class.